Hey guys, Tony, KD8RTT. Wanted to do a quick video on something I found. Um, I was at the uh, Tractor, Tractor Supply Company, uh, the store, you know, the I guess the national chain. Um, but here in town, just browsing a little while back. And um, I came across these. Now, as you can see, these are a corner post insulator for like a fence. Um, you can, you know, throw a rope or I guess a metal wire fence. And um, just as they're shown, that's how they're meant to be used. Uh, but as you can see, they're also on sale for two bucks for a 10 pack. And I mean, instantly what came to mind are antenna insulators. So if you're like me and you do a lot of antennas, um, you know, a lot of various antennas for things, experiments, whatever, you know, you're always looking for insulators. You can make them out of all sorts of stuff. Um, but if you're looking for a source, just pick up a bunch of them that you know will last outside. Uh, and, you know, these should survive um, UV okay since you know they're made to be kept outside on a fence and um, this might be a good option so check out uh, kind of like your farm supply stores I guess is where you find it maybe some hardware stores or something like this um, but basically insulators for fences and they also sell different types that like mount to the like wooden post itself um, if you know that could be useful depending on what your antenna setup is uh, but these are more traditional it might be traditional end insulators um, you know that you throw on the end of a dipole or something. So I thought I'd make a quick video show you guys uh, You know these come out to what like 20 cents a piece because there's 10 in here um, Plus tax so a little bit more than that, but easy way to get bulk uh, antenna insulators uh, for pretty cheap. So, so I put that out and uh, Yeah, see you soon 73